In this video, I'll briefly demonstrate how to easily process data on Hadoop with Mortar. There's more information about Mortar at MortarData.com. The quickest way to use Mortar is to use a web project. There is nothing to install, and you've got a full Hadoop development and execution environment. So today I'll spend less than 10 minutes developing a web project to process the publicly available million song dataset. My goal is to find the songs with the highest density, meaning the highest number of sounds per second. Because, you know, we're busy people, and this makes listening more efficient. This demo was inspired by Paul Lemire's post on musicmachinery.com. This is a web project editor. Now, to use Hadoop, you need two things, data and code to process the data. Mortar will execute Python and Apache Pig code. If you're not familiar with Pig, there's documentation here, or you can just dive right in with Pig templates. Let's load our data, the million song dataset, from S3. This tells Pig that data fields are tab separated, and to make our data readable, we can provide names for each of the fields. There are 54 fields of data for each song in the million song dataset, so I've pre typed the field names and will paste them in. You could save your results to other data stores, such as Mongo, but today we'll save our results back out to S3. Let's now confirm that we can successfully load our data. To do that, we'll use a fantastic feature called Illustrate. The purpose of Illustrate is to quickly show you the effect of your pig code, step by step. To do that, it automatically collects a smart sample of your data tailored to exercise your code. More about that in a moment. Meanwhile, it looks like our data is being loaded correctly from S3. We're looking at a single song that Illustrate sampled. Now if we filter out songs by artists that don't have a hotness rating of at least 0.5, you'll see Illustrate's smart sampling in action. Now it starts by sampling two songs in the load step, one with a hotness below 0.5 and one with hotness above. And then we can see the filter step is working correctly because only the hot artist makes it to the filtered songs step. This fantastic feature means three things. You can see step-by-step -step execution of your code, it is quick to iterate while developing, and you don't have to manually curate data samples to exercise edge cases. Illustrate attempts to do it automatically. All right, let's find the songs with the most sounds per second. Each song has a field called segments start that for each sound in the song indicates the time within the song that it occurs. If we count these entries and divide that number by the length of the song, we'll have our density. Well, Pig is a data flow language that joins, groups, orders, filters, aggregates, etc. It's not a full featured programming language. So we'll leverage Python to calculate each song's density. We'll write a function called density that takes the array of sound times and song duration and returns density. So that Pig knows what Python is returning, we'll annotate it here. The return value should be called density, and it is of type double. Back in Pig, we apply this calculation to each song. And rather than filter by hotness, let's filter out songs with no duration. Let's illustrate that. OK, our script is working. We trace one song from loading through filtering to song density calculation. Stanley Black's song Andalusia has 2.9 sounds per second. Notice that no songs were filtered out in this step. That's because Illustrate only found songs with a duration. Now, if we're interested in just the 50 songs with the highest density, we'll need to sort the data and keep the top 50 songs. That's easy with Pig, using order and limit. Now let's run our code. OK, it's running, and we can see our progress. And if we ever need to see the exact code we ran, it's snapshotted here. It's available as history, so you never lose track of how you created your data. All right, the code is finished. Let's download the results. Olivia Newton-John's song, Rainy Days and Mondays, is the densest song in the Million Song dataset, with 12.7 sounds per second. From here, it would be easy to limit our results to popular songs or songs from a particular genre. But here we have the 50 most dense songs in the entire set. 
And that was our goal for this demo. Here's what you just saw. Using a zero install web environment, we created a web project. We loaded the million song data set from S3. Then we developed code in Pig and Python to perform calculations on each song. We used Illustrate to quickly check our work as we developed against our big data set. Then we ran our code on an on-demand private Hadoop cluster and finally downloaded the most interesting results. Thanks for your interest in Mortar. For dessert, we made you a selection of rich playlists with very dense songs.